I had this acrylic box standing around, so I wondered if I could use that for something fun. And I decided to go wild and make my house from Animal Crossing. This is taking a long time to make, so I'm afraid this is going to be three videos in uh, one. So I hope you will follow along, even though that this is a long process. This is the ground piece where I'm going to put my done house and have a piece of my garden outside the house on. And I'm just sketching up here where I want the house and how big I want it. Now I'm going to work on the outside walls and the inside walls. I'm going to make it more like the outside as if you look into your house, the windows do not match to the inside and the outside. So I am choosing the outside look also because I think I want light in there when it's all done. I'm starting with the inside of the house, keeping the outside in mind all the way through. And I mixed up this yellowish color for the wallpaper, as I have this color with dots on in my house.
Here I'm working with the floor and I'm going to make a little hallway behind the door. Here I realized the difference between the inside room and the outside room that the two windows in the front is not in the inside but I really want them so you can see the light from the outside so I am deciding to make the two extra windows on this front piece. Then I frame the door and the windows. And I'm going to put this board up that is going around the floor.
I have this mold, I made it with some mold putty and then I squeezed it down over some crepe paper and that gave me this wood texture that I'm using on all the board pieces. Then I need all the dots on my wallpaper, so I'm just going to paint them on. Here I'm going to make a small box that is going to be the hallway from the inside and it's going to be the uh, facade on the outside. And I actually glue all pieces together. I later use some bacon bond to make this uh, connection stronger here and there. That's all for part one. I hope you will follow me next week in part two. <laughs>